Welcome to Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. Our team is committed to bringing Type 1 diabetics the latest medical developments to manage this disease. We also cover current medical advancements seeking a cure for T1D. If you value this content, please feel free to show your support by clicking on our homepage and hitting the link to buy us a coffee. Your support helps our team to research topics for upcoming videos. We thank you for your support. Well now, welcome back to Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. My name is Jim and today I've got something to tell you. It has to do with sugar coating technology to save and protect beta cells. Isn't that kind of counterintuitive? I mean, isn't sugar the basis of our entire problem as type 1 diabetics? Too much sugar? Too much elevated glucose levels? Well, the answer is actually no. We have a world-renowned medical center named Mayo Clinic, many of you have heard of, and they have a whole new take on this. And they are developing technology to actually use a sugar coating technology to protect transplanted beta cells and hold your breath, no immunosuppression. It sounds really nice. And uh, we're going to unwrap the whole story for you here on Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. Hit the like and subscribe button. You'll be happy you did. And to all of you out there who have bought us a coffee to support our channel here, we thank you very much. It goes toward paying some of the bills around here to produce this content. Now, let's find out what on earth Mayo Clinic is up to with this idea of sugarcoating beta cells to protect them. Unveiling Sugar Coating Technology, a new defense for diabetes cells. Cell protection research. Mayo Clinic researchers are exploring the use of sugar coating cells to protect those typically destroyed in type 1 diabetes. Explain this, Mayo Clinic researchers recently published a promising study on August 1, 2025, showing that a special sugar coating applied to insulin-producing beta cells may shield them from immune attack in type 1 diabetes. What is this sugar coating? Scientists engineered beta cells to express an enzyme called STA6, which adds sugar chains on the cell surface. These sugar structures mimic a natural camouflage mechanism similar to that used by some cancer cells to evade immune detection. How does it work? In animal models prone to autoimmune diabetes, the sugar-coated beta cells survived while uncoated cells were destroyed. The treatment prevented type 1 diabetes in about 90% of the cases studied, as the immune system spared the engineered cells. Importantly, the immune system remained fully active elsewhere, meaning immune competence was not compromised. Why is this significant? Targeted immune tolerance. Instead of suppressing the entire immune system, this approach induces local tolerance specifically around the transplanted beta cells. Potential for cell therapy. It opens the door to safer islet transplantation or stem cell-derived beta cells that can survive in patients with type 1 diabetes without the need for lifelong immunosuppression. What's next? The work is currently limited to preclinical animal studies. Human trials have not yet begun. If successful in humans, researchers envision applying this sugar coating to donor islet cells or engineered stem cell beta cells, which could offer a more permanent restorative therapy. Where sugar coating fits. Complementary technology. It could be combined with cell therapies like Vertex or Cernova or used standalone for transplanted islets. Advantages. No device, no gene editing, and no systemic immunosuppression. Challenges. Needs proof in humans, durability testing, and manufacturing scale-up. Bottom line, if successful, sugar coating could make stem cell or donor islet transplantation far simpler and safer than current strategies and may compete directly with gene-edited cell therapies from CRISPR Therapeutics. Great news though, this is several years away. The Mayo Clinic is hard at work on this and we will report all the progress as it unfolds. Okay, so that is the story of what Mayo Clinic is working on sugar coating to protect transplanted beta cells. By their own admission, it may not be ready for 10 years. However, that's fine. They are a, a noted organization uh, with deep pockets, and uh, this sounds like a great concept, and we will follow it closely. So don't despair. I think in three to five years, you're gonna have multiple avenues to a cure from multiple 
different organizations. We will anxiously await that. In the meantime, take care, and we will talk to you again real soon here at Type 1 Diabetic Warriors.